Hi, I'm Sean Carroll. I'm a theoretical physicist at Caltech. And I think a lot about the nature of time. So I wanted to talk a little bit about, is time fundamental? Is it an irreducible feature of reality? Or is it an emergent phenomenon? Is time merely a useful approximation to us in our, the everyday world? So when we talk about emergence, the classic example is the air in the room, right? We talk about the air as being a fluid, it has a temperature, it has a pressure, it has a velocity. But we know that none of those properties is really fundamental to how reality works. We know that the air is really made of atoms and molecules. And you could talk about it at this microscopic level, and the language you would use is one of atoms and molecules moving around. There'd be no temperature, no density, or anything like that. At the macroscopic level, those properties emerge. So the question is, can time be like that? The passage of time seems absolutely fundamental to us. We can't get through the day, literally, without time passing. But the laws of physics don't tell us whether that passage of time is truly fundamental or not. In particular, in quantum mechanics, which we think is our best theory of underlying reality, it's possible that the state of the universe as a whole doesn't evolve with time in any conventional way. The great thing about quantum mechanics is we can think about superpositions of different possibilities. So you have an electron, it can be rotating clockwise or rotating counterclockwise, and we can imagine that the state of the electron is a superposition of both possibility. It's neither one or the other until we look at it. It's this property of superposition that lets us imagine that time could be emergent in quantum mechanics. Imagine just a conventional old way of thinking about the evolution of the universe through time. It was small and dense and hot, and then it grew and expanded and cooled. Now, quantum mechanics says you can do the following thing. You can take the state of the universe at one moment of time. That's one possible configuration, one possible quantum state. Take the state of the universe at some other time. That's a whole nother quantum state. Take it at even a later time. Take many, many, many different states of the universe, but then superpose them, add them together. So rather than having one state that is evolving with time, having time be a fundamental feature of reality, you could have one static, unevolving quantum state, which is the superposition of many possible ways the universe could be, as if they were at different moments of time. In that case, time could be truly emergent. The question is, which way is it? Is time fundamental, or is it just emergent? The answer is we have no idea right now. Both possibilities are on the table. We need more work, both on the theoretical side of things and the observational experimental side, to truly decide this fundamental question. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, you can subscribe. And if you want to hear more about my thoughts about time, I've written a book called From Eternity to Here, The Quest for the Ultimate Theory of Time.